Kia ora, Zeno Koto, hello and welcome to episode 30 of Minecraft or Buildcraft or more. It is finally 30. I've been sort of been celebrating 30 in the last couple of episodes, but it's finally 30 that your series is in double digits now. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we're just going to carry on with building the, the diamond factory. Uh, I just sort of I was just sort of planning a little off camera for a couple of seconds about how I'm going to get it to work. And I think a really good example of showing a bit more red power is to sort of have a long line along here of red alloy wiring powering all these quarries because it doesn't actually need to be going into it if it's the red alloy, unlike redstone where it would need to go into it. Well you need, you need engines, it would be powering the engines which are like, you know, next to it. So yeah, uh, let's carry on. I'm just, now that I have, I'm, I'm just sort of thinking, well now that I have to build it to like a specific code, I just sort of have basically have to mirror it. At least the first one's going to be a little tricky to pull off. So, let's see. So the lava's going to be there. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, hmm. I thought I had it sorted, to be honest. So, two, and then. Wait a so, this, I seem to have. I was just. It looks like I've gone like one block too far along, as seems to be the issue here. So, I'll just pull that back. And then do this. And then the lava sits in here. And I actually saw from uh, having a look at the footage from the last video, I think, yeah, that, that piece there was, you know, not two blocks down, so that's been quickly fixed. And we've still got the lava and stuff from the last time. So we can just fire that back in here. Now, I was sort of considering actually... Um, cutting this part out, was sort of, I don't know, because you saw it all in the last episode, but, yeah, I, I have no problems keeping going, to be honest. I mean, it, it, it gives the series a longer life, doesn't it? Oh yes, I want to live forever! And speaking of which, actually, I suppose I can announce something rather small. I don't normally publicly announce things like this in my videos, but I had a look at the number of subscribers that I have this morning, and it's, uh, it's just past 40. 40 subscribers. Uh, there's, there's, there isn't going to be any sort of subscriber party, but thank you for all your, uh, you know, subscription is this <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't normally talk about the subscriptions at all, to be honest. I mean, I would actually pre I prefer not to talk about it, actually, because I'm sure it's been raised. I'm not sure if I've discussed this in video, actually. So I guess I can briefly mention that. I don't like to self-advertise my subscribing people to subscribe to me. You know, I'm not like, you know, at the end of every video, I'm not like, please comment, rate, or subscribe or anything, you know, because basically, because whenever I watch a video and I see people doing that, I get annoyed. Well, it's not that I get annoyed, it's just that it doesn't mean anything to me. So, you know, why should I do it to you guys? if it's not going to work anyway. It might help the odd person, but I'd rather people just sort of just sort of say, well, this guy's content's awesome, I'm going to subscribe to him, and he didn't tell me to subscribe or anything. So it was sort of like a silent code of mine. Not, not to say anything about it at all. So the, <laughs> me just breaking my silence there. Perhaps a little more secretively, that's probably perhaps a reason why 
there isn't that many subscribers. Well, 40 is a lot. It's certainly a lot more than what we started off with. But, you know, I wouldn't appreciate, you know, like, several million. <laughs> They'd be kind of weird, though, I suppose. Like, having millions of people just sort of watching your videos. Or is it? Hmm. Anyway, so this is actually... I'm surprised at how quickly this is coming along. Oh no! Uh, what I meant to do before I actually uh, put the lava in was put the landmarks up first so that there wasn't a risk of them burning along with me. But too late. <laughs> oh, dug down. Yes, I dug down. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> it works. Well, I'm not. My, I'm not one for shouting, am I? You know, just going absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let's see. There's one more. A total of two sand, two sand has had to be sacrificed for this diamond factory. And I think now, now that how quickly this is actually going along, I think we can actually uh, do a little more. Yeah, I might be able to make a few uh, or cheat in a few red alloy ingots be because you know if you've been watching the series avidly, you'll see you will have seen that the supposed recipe. I think. Doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure what the deal is there. If anyone knows what the actual recipe is, I would be more than happy to hear from you. So we'll just throw these up. And, okay. There we go. Now we pop the quarry down. I guess we'll keep it a bit symmetrical. A little bit here. Oh dear. I heard something burn. I'm going to run out of lapis lazuli. Any second. I may as well make a spear. A couple of spears. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm just sort of trundling along. <laughs> and that, that, those were connecting on that side. I wonder what the deal is now. So I'm just thinking, I was like, I suppose I can share this. Uh, I was thinking, um, you know, there wouldn't actually be enough space in here. I might, I might have had to have moved the, uh, the oil there, but no, nope, it seems that we're fine. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to distribute all of the oil evenly to the combustion engines which will be fueling this thing. Yeah, but I'm going to need like a decent water source here as well. I might have to make something, a slightly larger infinite spring or something, to fuel all the water and might bring it down in pipes or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a little tricky. Now what was I saying? I'm just sort of looking for the landmark. The landmark seems to have sort of died again. Perhaps it, somebody probably hit it fizzle on lava. I think if we do that, yeah. So because it goes to both landmarks, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, one's landed in water. There, there it is. Oop, up you get. Oh, it's not turning night again. Actually, let's just go ahead real quick and just reorganize my inventory. Because we lost the we lost the sapphire sword. I'm not going to spawn in another sapphire sword. We've well, got plenty. I might go ahead and make an emerald sword. That'd be kind of cool. Yoink. Oh, I was expecting. My, I was expecting them to pop off. See episode thirty. I'm not sure if you caught on, but that that's the series is. You know, I'm trundling along now. 
and I still don't have any plans of an end game for this. I mean, what is what is success in this series exactly? <laughs> when will it all be finished? When will it all be over? I think I think we might call it. I'm probably going to call it once I get red matter tools and armor. I think I think that's probably. A good place to call it. Un well, I don't know. As many equivalent exchange items as I can possibly think of because they're all in game. So anyway, yeah, that's the uh, that's the very basics done, sorted. Hmm. I probably don't have enough iron to make ten combustion engines. How am I going to do this? I guess. Now, how many do they need? You're gonna need ten pistons. I don't. I think I've got enough for ten pistons. Ten times four is forty. So no, we don't have enough cobblestone. Uh, Thirty wood. No. <laughs> okay, so my guys, we might have to take a quick journey home. So we'll just leave that the way it is and journey across the desert. And we'll, we'll turn the uh, graphics up a tiny bit. And by tiny I mean to normal. <laughs> and we'll just head back home. See you in a bit.